हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल अनफॉग विद डॉक्टर अतहर परवीन सो देर आर फ्यू करेक्शंस व्हिच आई हैव टू मेक रिलेटेड टू दी साइंस आंसर कीज सो हियर आई एम टू डिस्कस दोज करेक्शंस बिकॉज आई मेड द वीडियो इन हॉश पॉश ऑन द सेम डे ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन बिकॉज ऑफ द रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ एस्पेरेंट्स राइट सो आई हैड टोल्ड इन दैट वीडियो ऑल्सो दैट देर मे बी फ्यू मिस्टेक्स सो लेट अस करेक्ट दोज मिस्टेक्स इन दिस वीडियो so the first question which is needed the correction from the answer key point of view is this one the question is the velocity time graph of a ball of mass 20 kg moving along a straight line on a table is given the force exerted by the table on the ball to bring it to rest is so uh, there is a table on the table there is a ball okay now the ball is going like this so you have to find the force exerted by the table to stop this ball okay so that will be in the negative direction because the force is the frictional force which is going to stop the moving ball okay so that's why our force should be negative this is one uh, perspective of understanding this problem okay now you see the graph they are telling that uh, the ball of mass 20 kg is moving on a straight line on the table means your initial velocity is 2 meter per second and final velocity will be zero okay now we know that v is equal to u plus at right so with this what will be our acceleration value it will be v minus u by t right so here we have a final velocity zero and uh, initial velocity 2 meter per second upon time which is a uh, 10 seconds as given from the graph so our acceleration will be minus 1 by 5 meter per second now we have force is equal to mass into acceleration from newton second law right so force is equal to mass is 20 kg acceleration is minus 1 by 5 so our answer will be minus 4 newton okay so option 4 should be the correct answer i initially thought that they may not give this type of a tough question but i later realized that this question is given directly from a 9th standard book okay so force is minus 4 newton option 4 is the correct answer in our previous video of science answer keys we have neglected the direction and we had given 4 newton which is a wrong answer okay so here what you should keep in mind is that the negative sign is showing that the friction force exerted by the table is opposite to the direction of the motion of the ball okay so this problem is clear now right next question this is a sort of a controversial uh, question for me because this is a very easy question and uh, in urgency i got confused between orbitals and subshells so the question is the total number of orbitals present in m shell is so actually this is the figure which uh, i have been uh, teaching Uh, in all my classes so this was in my mind and uh, there are separate orbitals in each shell right in k shell we have s orbital in l shell we have s and p in m shell we have s p and d and in n shell we have s p d and f okay now here if you see the number of orbitals are 1 2 3 and 4 but this is not total number of orbitals because uh, in spd also we have one orbital in 3s three orbitals in 3p and five orbitals in 3d total we have nine orbitals in m shell so in order to get a, a shortcut of this answer we use this formula total orbitals is equal to n square where n is a principal quantum number and this n is equal to 1 for k shell n is equal to 2 for l shell n is equal to 3 for l shell and n is equal to 4 for n shell so for m shell n is equal to 3 
and we do square so our answer will be 9 option 2 is the correct answer okay now this has become a little funny situation for me because i have explained same question with the same explanation and got nine in our class in fact i think in a regular class also i have taught it and in revision class also i have taught it for paid aspirants and uh, after the previous video our paid aspirants were telling me that uh, uh, i got confused but i did not agree so now I want to apologize. I want to uh, say sorry to uh, all the aspirants because it was uh, my mistake whole and soul. I got confused. Okay. But the correct answer is 9. Okay. See one thing you should remember that uh, urgent work is a devil's work. Because I wanted to post the answer keys on the same day before midnight. That's why I made this mistake. These are very simple questions. Okay. Next question also same thing I have done. The question is the step in which the separated bands of DNA are cut out from the agarose gel and extracted from the gel piece. Now I gave answer as a gel electrophoresis. Actually I got confused with this agarose gel. Actually electrophoresis is also used in this recombinant DNA technology. It is also used for separation and isolation of DNA fragments. But where this agarose gel comes into picture now, that is the next step of gel electrophoresis. And that step is called elution. Okay. So my answer was close, but it was wrong. The correct answer is elution. Okay. Another question was uh, this question, which was a question of debate. Correct sequential order of reflective practice. In my uh, previous class of answer keys, I had given option 2. But now we have uh, come to conclusion that option 1 is the correct answer. Because the meaning of tra transact is executing. Okay. In place of evaluating, we should have executing. Then we should do uh, evaluation. Okay. So that is the thing. So plan, execute assess and then evaluate okay option one should be the correct answer uh, as of now but still uh, i want to tell you that uh, maybe one or two differences may be there between uh, our solutions and the government uh, official answer key because uh, there are some type of uh, questions uh, which will have different answers from different perspective that we cannot judge Okay, so let us wait for the final answer key and uh, don't be sensitive because uh, many aspirants are telling me uh, that uh, madam we have lost hope, uh, madam the question paper was so tough. I agree with you all. The question paper was uh, unexpectedly uh, tougher only when compared to the uh, previous uh, year's question paper of TET. But what I want to tell you all that let us not lose the hope. Maybe this is a indication for us to wake up get active and start preparing for all the coming examinations because uh, we have seen the news right there are uh, there is a, a newspaper of vijayavani circulating in all the telegram groups uh, telling that uh, there will be 10000 recruitments soon so they can be hstr recruitment they can be gpstr recruitment we need to just wake up and take this uh, uh, question paper of tet as a shock take it as an injection just to wake up from sleep and then start preparing rigorously whatever the question paper be whatever the syllabus be you should be ready at least we have idea that they will not go outside the 12th standard right at least so much we have so at least till then we can prepare now we can see in this question paper also now these corrected questions the first question of uh, physics uh, that is minus 4 newton wala question we thought that it is a puc question when we saw the negative sign but then later we realize that it is a 9th standard question only. So even if we are preparing from high school only, we should go for the tougher level questions of high school. I have been telling from many days, right from when we got the new syllabus, I have been telling to go for the tougher level of the high school things. Okay. So that will be very much helpful. Okay. Uh, and I have a small announcement also. Today HSTR PM batch is going to start uh, batch 7. Okay, seventh batch we are starting from today. Interested aspirants can reach out to us by WhatsApp message or mail or Telegram group. You will get the link of the Telegram group in the description below this video. And if you have any queries, please do let us know in the comment section. Okay, thank you. All the best. Bye.